Good morning, my friends. Happy Monday. Happy May the 4th or Star Wars Day. I hope you guys are having a great morning. We just finished um, reading Mamasaurus and now we're going to write about our moms. So I want you today to write about something your mom does for you. What's something that your mom does? So if your mom uh, packs your lunch, if your mom makes you breakfast, if your mom reads to you, if your mom plays with you, if your mom, um, you know, takes care of your dog, I don't know, whatever it is that your mom does for you, that's what I want you to write about. So today I'm going to write about uh, something my mom does for me, and she still does this for me, even though I'm a grown-up and I live in a different house now. My mom always, always takes care of me when I'm sick. Even though that I'm married and I'm in a different house, my mom still takes care of me when I'm sick, especially because for whatever reason, I always get sick when my husband is gone for his job because he's in the military. Uh, sometimes he has to be gone for you know months at a time. Sometimes he has to go somewhere with the plane that he works on. And so he'll be gone and I always, somehow get sick when he's gone. I'm never sick when he's here, but when he's gone, I always get sick and so my mom will come over and take care of me. And just recently this year when I was really sick, she came over and walked my dogs for me like every single day and uh, brought me dinner and my dad got all of my medicine for me. So my mom, to this day, even though I'm a grown up, takes care of me when I'm sick. So that's what I'm going to write going to write, my mom takes care of me when I'm sick. It's a lot of words, but thankfully they're words that we can sound out. So the first word we're going to write is my. It's going to be an uppercase M first. And then my, we've written a lot in the past week, so I know that it's M-Y, my. Then we're going to leave a finger space and put Mom, and we can send that out. M, mm. ah, mm. mom. My mom takes. So let's sound this out. T, a. Now, what do you think is going to make the k sound? It could be a c, or it could be a k. So now we have to think. Why is a saying its name? So it's one of the things that happens at the end of a word or towards the end of a word that will reach over and tell A to say its name. The bossy E. So if we have a bossy E here, can we have a C? Can C make the k k k sound when it's next to an E? It can't. It'll make the s, -s, -s sound. And then my word will say taste instead of take. So we're going to put a K, then an E. And I'm saying my mom takes care of me. So I have to put an S at the end. She takes care of me. Now I could say my mom and dad take care of me, but since I'm just saying my mom, I have to put takes. Otherwise it doesn't make sense. So my mom takes care. K -k 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 -k. Now this one is a C because the next sound is the air sound. K. Now air is a weird sound. It's not a sound that we've talked about yet. I know what word should go here or what letters should go here to make this word, but you guys can write whatever letters will make the sound and make the most sense. These letters, they don't really make a ton of sense. It, this is kind of a crazy word. So I'll show you. We've got A, R, E, care. And that's kind of because the A and the R, uh, when they're together, they're like that pirate sound. They go, R. But even then, K, R, it's not what it's saying. And then you have the E here that's not saying anything. So this is a crazy word. So this is definitely a word that you can, you can sound it out. And if it doesn't look like this, that's okay. As long as your letters make some amount of sense, because even these letters, they don't really make sense, do they? English is a silly, silly language. My mom takes care of. Now the word of is one of our sight words and I think it was one of the words that we had to unscramble last week. So we should remember from that how to spell the word of. But if you don't, remember you can just use your best sounds, that's okay. 
I remember unscrambling it from last week. Actually, my job was I had to scramble the words, so I really had to pay attention to make sure I didn't give you letters that didn't make any sense. So we've got my mom takes care of, and I think I can fit the word me here. If you don't think you can fit a word here, you can always jump down to the next line. But I think I can fit the word me here because it's just two sounds, mm, e. Mm, me. My mom takes care of me. Now I'm gonna jump down here to write when. Now when has this crazy W, H, wah, wah. Even though you can't hear the H at all. We're gonna talk about that actually, um, I think tomorrow with our phonics, but now you guys kind of have a head start thinking of wah, wah, W, H. But again, if you didn't have the H in here because you can't really hear it, I would not be upset. I would be happy if you had the w -e n part because that would sound out correctly. My mom takes care of me when I'm. This is one of our sight words. You can also say I am, but I like to put the word I'm because when we talk, we don't really so much say I am anymore when we're just talking. A lot of times now we say I'm. I guess we can't waste that little bit of a second saying I am. But when you're talking with your parents, you don't go, mom, dad, I am hungry. People don't really talk like that. It just sounds too proper, too fancy, like we're trying to be fancy robots or something. We say, mom, dad, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. We say the word I'm a lot. So that's why I'm gonna write I'm here. So we've got I, then we have the apostrophe, and then the M. So this little apostrophe mark uh, takes part, well, it takes the place of the A because I'm and I am mean the same. We just smushed I am into one word to make I'm and we use the apostrophe to take the place of the A for the A, -a, -a in am. So we kind of get rid of the A in am, smush the two words together and put an apostrophe to show we know that there is supposed to be an A here for am, but we got rid of it. So that's how that works. My mom takes care of me when I'm sick. So we're gonna sound that out. S, I, and then the k, k, k sound at the end is actually both of the letters. So we kind of talked about this briefly before, and I don't know, up here. At the end of a word, if you have the k, k, k sound, most of the time, there's always some rule breakers in English because English is a crazy language, but most of the time, if you have the k, k, k sound at the end of a word, it's gonna be the CK together. Because it just, it looks weird just to have the C and it looks weird when you just have the K. So you put them both together. Oops, that's kind of a crazy K. And then a period. So here we go. My mom takes care of me when I'm sick. And there you have it. This was kind of a longer video, but we had a lot of words to write and some things to sound out. And I had to show you some of the things on our writing wall. Some of them I've taken down for other videos, but luckily those ones were still up there. I hope you guys are doing well. I can't wait to read about what your mom does for you. I can't wait to see all of the learning you guys do this week. I'm really proud of everyone who's been working so hard. Keep up the good work. We are almost there. We have what, like three weeks left of school maybe? And then you guys get to take a break for the summer, woohoo! All right, my friends, I will talk to you soon. I miss you, bye.